Hey, what's up everybody? This is Chicken Possible with Rewards Hunter back with another Xbox Game Pass monthly quest guide. Today we're going to be working on the quest for the Elder Scrolls Online Tamriel Unlimited, which is available of course on Game Pass. So this is going to be good through May 3rd and it's worth 150 rewards points. All of the monthlies are 150 this this month. And this is another one where we've got to complete one of two objectives so we can kind of take our choice here. We're going to go with option number one, which is to find two Sky Shards. If you prefer and you're familiar with the game, you can choose option B, which is to have three Alliance versus Alliance kills. But like I said, we're going to be finding the Sky Shards in this playthrough. So we'll go ahead and get the game started up and press A a couple times to get connected to the game. This will probably take you about 20 minutes. I'm cutting out some of the load time, so it's going to be a little bit faster in this video. But uh, we'll go ahead and create a new character. And you can randomize your character, you can customize, do whatever you need to, and then we'll press Y to start entering a name. I always recommend entering in your gamer tag here because sometimes the, you know, the common names that you might try to use will already be taken. So you can use your gamer tag like I'm doing. I had actually played a couple of playthroughs on this previously, so I ended up adding a C onto my name as the final character. They don't accept numbers as the final character, so this is round three for me or round C. And at this point, you can choose to skip the tutorial or not. If you've never played through it before, you'll probably have to go through the tutorial. So I pressed A so that I could start through the tutorial. And this is actually a different tutorial than I had done the last time I played the game. They've, they've updated things a little bit and made the tutorial a little faster. So the first thing you'll do is you'll look down and press A to examine the letter. And you can press the right trigger like it says on screen to page through the letter. And then we'll need to listen to the passenger of the boat. He doesn't talk for too long here, but you can just kind of look around, listen to what he has to tell you. And then we'll have an attack on the ship that happens shortly after this. So like I said, pretty short and sweet. So we're headed to Firemoth Island, and this is where the tutorial takes place, or at least the, the bulk of the tutorial takes place here. And unfortunately, there are no Sky Shards that are available on the Firemoth Island, but that's all right. We'll find some very quickly after we finish up there. So let's move out of the jail cell, and we'll talk to Virian out here. You just press A to interact and talk with characters. And I usually just keep pressing A during any of the dialogues. That seemed to work fine. Now we'll hit the right trigger to get our fists out and ready. And then we'll punch her with the right trigger. We'll have to hit the left trigger to block and then hold down the right trigger a couple of times to beat her up to, to do the heavy attack. And we'll just continue to page through the dialogue. So we'll just head out the door by pressing A. And we need to collect a few things at this point. We need to get some slaver gear and get the gate key. And like it says on screen there, you've got some indicators at the upper center of the screen where you can see where your objective markers are, those little things that have sort of a V on them and look like, I don't know, sort of like a knight's helmet maybe, maybe a little castle. I'm not sure what that icon is supposed to be. We'll head towards the first one of those to the left to the slaver hut and press A to open the door. And like it says, we can press A to loot objects, and we want to first take the great sword. Don't sit down in the seat. We want to take the great sword and press A to take that and add that to your inventory, and then press A to search the guard himself, and we'll take his clothes. I don't know if he's knocked out or what. I, maybe he's drunk. He's got a he's got a tankard next to him. I guess he's just passed out drunk. So we'll press start and we'll page through some information there, and then go down to weapons main hand and then press A to equip the greatsword that you just picked up. Press B a couple times, and then go down to apparel, chest, and press A, and then go down to the jerkin, which is the shirt, and press A to equip and accept that. And then we can press B a couple times to get out of that. So we're wearing the slaver gear now. You can fight this guy if you want to. I chose to just run past him and press A to get outside of the slaver hut. For some reason, he doesn't actually follow you when you go outside. You'd think he would just open the door and continue trying to attack you if he was angry with you. But anyway, I guess he's stuck in the hut. 
Maybe he's fumbling with the doorknob and doesn't understand how those sorts of things work. But uh, anyway, we'll head into this other slaver hut that has a waypoint on top of it. And we've got to sneak in here. So press the right stick, click that down to start sneaking. And you can see this gar animal that's on the ground here. We need to attack that. So we'll hit the right trigger to do a sneak attack and get rid of it. So we're safe now and we need to turn around and head downstairs. Now watch yourself at the base of the stairs. There's a bear trap that I accidentally got into earlier, but you can press A to disarm it, and then you'll be able to walk over it. And then the chest, you can press A to start unlocking it, and you can go through this unlocking tutorial if you want to, or you can just press X to force it to unlock. And then we'll press X to take all of the items, including the gate key that we need. So now we need to rendezvous through the prisoners. If you want to get rid of this message at the bottom of the screen that says your level two rewards are available, you can hold down the start button and then go down to claim rewards, press A, and then press A one more time, and then B a couple of times to get out of that. So that, that little message is gone about the rewards. Anyway, you can just leave it up on screen if it doesn't bother you, it was bothering me, so we got rid of it. So head back upstairs, press A to head outside and you'll have a waypoint at the upper center of the screen to show you where to go. So we'll talk to Aoki here and just press A to page through all of his dialogue. Now we need to head up the hill kind of to the right of where they're headed and we'll see Virian sitting up there. We need to talk to her one more time and she'll let us know about a firebomb that we need to put together. So we'll page through her dialogue, just pressing A still. And so now we need to gather some fire salts and some kindle pitch. So two different things to grab out in the main area. So we'll press A to open up the door to the docks. And there are a bunch of enemies out here. You can try to sneak past them. I just clicked the left stick and was running past most of them. And my health seemed to do fine, so. You can, you can just run past everybody if you want to. So press A to grab the fire salts in this barrel here. And then turn around and head further out to the docks. You may get shot a little bit on the way out by the enemies that are trying to attack you and stop you from whatever it is you're doing. And I think you have to fight these two people that are out on the docks. I tried to go ahead and run out to the Kindle pitch to grab it, but it won't actually even let you search it until you fight these guys. So use your combat skills, which is basically just hitting the right trigger slash through this first slaver thug and hold the left trigger if you need to block and virian is actually helping i don't know if you can see her arrows she's taking some shots at these people too so we took out the archer as well so now we can head back and grab the kindle pitch so press a to search that and a to take it and all we need to do to get out of the area and off the island now is board the slaver ship so head further into the dock and there's a little boat off to the left side that we can hop onto and use. Get on board and let's go. So we've left the island at this point. We've boarded onto the slaver ship and we're just gonna head towards the waypoint and head down the stairs. You probably want to battle the first mate. It doesn't seem to want you to use the firebomb until you've actually battled the first mate. So turn around, take some swings at her. She's a little tougher because she actually has a shield and a mace that she's trying to club you with. But again, we're, we're in the tutorial, so I don't think you're going to die on it. Just keep hitting your right trigger and block when you feel like you need to. You can also use that heavy attack by holding down the right trigger, and you'll slash a little bit harder and take a little bit more of her health off. Once she's down, you can use the firebomb in this room to start a fire on the slaver ship. And then we need to confront the captain who is right there. I ran past him. I, I don't know what I was thinking. I should have stayed to fight him, but I believe Virian kills him pretty quickly. I thought that he actually went deeper into the ship, so I'm looking for him. But yeah, she's actually, he's actually lying at her feet right now. So she, she dispatched him pretty quickly. I guess the first mate was a lot tougher. So we'll head off to the edge of the ship and just jump off into the water at this point. So we've escaped the slaver ship and we're headed to a place called Vardenfell. 
and Vordenfell is awesome because it has a bunch of the sky shards that we need. So that's pretty much the end of the tutorial. We just need to talk to the governor to finish out the quest, and then we will grab two sky shards. One of them is going to be right next to the governor's office, and then the second one we're going to have to swim out a little bit across some water to grab. So I'll show you where those, where those things are. So we need to talk to the sergeant first, so move towards the door, and then we'll talk to Sergeant Delms, and you can just press A to page through his dialogue, and then press A to open the door. Watch your waypoint at the upper, upper center of the screen. Basically, you just need to take a left off the ship and head towards the governor's office. Press A to open the first door. And there's not really anything we need to do in this room, so we'll just press A to open the governor's office door. And there she is. So let's press A to talk to her. And then make sure you go down to complete quest, and then press A to finish that up. And if you want to clear off your screen right now with the rewards, you can hold down the start button and go down to claim rewards and press A a couple times and then B to back out, and you'll have that claim message removed from your screen. So at this point you want to take a left and go out this door into the census and excise courtyard and there's a sky shard that is basically right behind you here it's there it is in a little box so we'll press a to grab the sky shard so that's one out of two we're halfway done now way more than halfway done as far as time is concerned so you can head back into the governor's office at this point and we'll take a right to head back out into the excise office and then straight ahead to the town and our next sky shard is roughly to the northeast of here so if you hit the select button and then right trigger to kind of zoom in a little bit it's just to the northeast side of this lake that's here to the northeast of your current position and if you hit the right stick if you click that in you'll set a waypoint and it's gonna look like a little blue diamond. So you'll be able to follow that on your heads up display when you get back to the game. So that's gonna show us where our sky shard is, that's the closest one to this area to grab. So we'll just press B to back out of the map and we're gonna start heading in that direction. Now you can see there are some other things on the heads up display that are you know, more highlighted because they're more important quests and things that you need to do as far as the story is concerned. But basically, you want to start heading northeast, and like I said, you'll see that little blue diamond at the, at the upper area of the screen. You actually can't see it at the moment, but when I'm heading northeast, you can see it. And I would recommend kind of staying on the roads for a minute or two because there are some enemies that are out in the woods. So just kind of stick to the roads where you can, and if you don't see any clear path that takes you, uh, takes you close to your destination, then you can kind of go off the path a little bit. You can go through the water, you can swim through the water, you can go across these hills. It's a fairly open world and you don't tend to get stuck too much. So you can really take a pretty straightforward path to get to the waypoint that we've set for the second Sky Shard. So we're just heading towards that blue diamond, taking as straight of a path as we can. And at this point I chose to stay on the land instead of going out into the water. It's a little bit faster on land as long as you have your sprint. Click that left stick when you need to, when you need to sprint. I think I was overusing it. I ran out of ran out of stamina, so I had to wait for it to recharge a little bit. And definitely if you're passing an enemy, then I would probably try to sprint past them so you don't have to get into a battle or have them take down your health too much. So we're almost to the water near the Sky Shard. So we'll just take a little left here and head down into the water and it's just across the way and as you get close to it it'll start to light up so you'll see it light up into the sky in just a minute as i get a little bit closer to it so there we go we can see that light coming up so that's going to be the sky shard that we're looking for I didn't get eaten by any sort of creatures inside of the water. I don't know if there's anything in there, but it seemed relatively safe to me. So press A to grab the Sky Shard, and that's it. Let's grab the Microsoft Rewards points for that. So we've got the 150 points, and that quest is completed. So that's going to do it for Elder Scrolls Online, Tamriel Unlimited. 
and hopefully that worked out well for everybody and you found your sky shards. The other option, like I said, is to have three alliance versus alliance kills. So that may be an option if you're more familiar with ESO and want to play it that way. Thanks for watching, guys. If you found that video helpful, please be sure to click the subscribe button on YouTube and hit that bell for notifications. You can also find links in the description for other social media links of mine. Stay tuned for more Microsoft rewards and achievement guides, and I'll see you in the next one.